Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I have a video for Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L where I'm going to be talking about my five favorite adhesives to have on hand when creating a scrapbook layout. So I'm going to get started with those five, and I'm going to go through them, and then you'll see me using them throughout the video. So first up is the Easy Runner Grand. This is a nice big tape runner that has a really easy to replace tape cartridge, and it is awesome. I love it. You can switch it out for different types of adhesive. You can stick with just permanent strips. There is a lot to love about this thing and helps get the do job done quickly and holding things together well. My second one that I want to focus on is the foam squares. Now Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L has these foam squares in a variety of sizes. Um, they have them in a variety of colors. They have them in different thicknesses. So your options are definitely not limited there when you look at those. And those, of course, are great for just making things pop up, like I've done with a couple circles here on this layout. My third one that I love is adhesive dots, and those are just little dots of glue. And again, they come in a variety of sizes, and they can fit your needs for using on wood veneer, for using on buttons, for using on sequins, all those little things that are a little bit of a pain to stick on with, say, a tape runner, um, or that they need a little more strength than a tape runner provides. The fourth one is the dual tip glue pen. And what this is, is a, it's a wet adhesive, and it works great for putting things on like um, bigger die cuts. Uh, you're gonna see me using it on my title here momentarily. And it is great for mixed media projects as well. Um, I just like to have it for when I need to put on little die cuts and that I need to get all to the edges of. My last one that I want to mention is the Easy Runner with the micro refillable dispenser. This one is the smaller Easy Runner, um, but you can switch cartridges in and out really easy, and it's great for those little itty bitty pieces that you want to add on to your projects. So those are the five. Now you've already seen several of them being used in this video, and let's talk about this layout just a little bit. So I opted for a 10 picture layout, which is not normal for me, um, but it's a layout about my daughter's birthday party. Um, we went on this little tour and went to 10 different stops, and this was just with our family, not with a big group of kids. <laughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> um, but we had 10 stops, and so I wanted to put all a picture from each stop on there. And so you can see we've got them in all different sizes, all different circles. And then I'm adding on these little letter stickers from Jelly Bean Soup to identify which stop it was. I created the whole layout using the Super Celebration collection from Jelly Bean Soup. Um, they were gracious enough to send us some fun supplies to work with, and so I'm diving into that collection again. You've already seen me use it several times, and if you like it, you should definitely look back at my video files because I've got several different videos using this collection. Um, but today I'm definitely sticking with the true to the birthday uh, thing. So I love how this all came together because it kind of looks like balloons, doesn't it? And I wasn't really intending that, but it ends up coming together that way where it looks like I have a, just a big bunch of balloons there in the middle. Really, I was just trying to get 10 pictures on there and have it work and be pleasing still uh, design wise. And so that was kind of a fun side result there. Now, as I've added on all those numbers, you're probably wondering how I'm going to do my journaling. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler here in a minute and I'm going to just take my black pen and I'm going to draw a line from each of those. And I'm going to just put on a little tiny journaling strip that says where each stop was. At the moment, I have no trouble remembering where each stop was, but I'm going to guess that in a few years, once we've gone down the road of other birthday parties and everybody's gotten a little older, I may have forgotten where some of them were. So I definitely felt like it was important to make sure and include those um, little journaling strips on there. And those I'm just going to attach with my micro runner on the easy runner. Um, I also am going to add on a bunch of little stars and I'm going to use some of the smaller foam squares for that. and. You can see I'm just 
getting all kinds of adhesive in this whole layout. Now that's pretty typical for me. I don't know about you. Maybe you are like a one or two adhesive person per layout, but I am not. I like dimension. I like heavy stuff. I like flat stuff. I like, I like it all. So it's important for me to have really solid adhesives in my arsenal and ready to roll and to tell you the truth, most of these just sit on my desk all the time because, oh, why put it away? <laughs> I'm going to need adhesive dots the very next time I sit down, or I'm going to need adhesive foam or 3D foam squares the next time I sit down. I'm going to need those things. And so they are just there ready to roll until they run out and then I can refill them. Um, in fact, I can even, my kids can even identify what they are. So thank you so much for being here today. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.